Hello YouTube and in this video we're going to sail into Langston Harbour which is somewhere over there. Langston is a large natural harbour to the east of the city of Portsmouth on the south coast of England. It's the middle of three linked harbours with Portsmouth Harbour to the west and Chichester Harbour to the east. The only marina in the harbour is South Sea Marina which is located in East Neil Lake and accessed via a dredged channel. Langston Harbour, what does the anorak say? Well, it says, entrance channel lies between the east and west winter drying banks, which affords some protection. Not going to need much protection on a day like this, but if that's Langston Harbour there, then this is the east winner, and that's the west winner. And the winner boy uh, is just over there. You probably can't see it, actually, but it's a cardinal mark. We're inside of it. We're to the north of a southern cardinal mark at the moment. That's the Langston Fairway Boy then. So that's the start of the pilotage now into Langston Harbour. It's not a difficult harbour to get into this one. It's pretty much a straight line from the Fairway Boy back there uh, straight into the harbour. And uh, this quite clear sandbank on either side. Stick to the middle of the channel and got deep water. Um, the problem is the force of the tide coming in and out. So uh, we're going to be uh, facing uh, the ebb tide and it might mean that we go quite slowly through the entrance we'll have a lot of tide coming to us and then we're going to nip around into South Sea Marina and um, one of the other challenges uh, as we go in as a small boat is that this is one of the best places if you like to have a personal watercraft and you want to launch a personal watercraft from the hailing side of Langston Harbour entrance um, there's fishing boats and things like that and there's occasional commercial movements usually only at the top of the tide It's just under one nautical mile from the fairway beacon to the entrance channel, which is called the Run. We have Eastney on the western bank and Hailing Island on the east. There's always a good depth of water with a minimum chartered depth of around six metres. As you make your way through the Run, you'll see private mooring boys on the Eastney side, whilst on the Hailing Island side, keep your eyes open for jet skis launching to the beach just south of the Ferry Inn. Portsmouth lifeboat station is an easy to identify mark and just north of that are the pontoons for the Hailing Ferry which crosses between the Eastney pontoon and the Ferry Point pontoon on the Hailing side. So this bit's a bit confusing because what we're looking for here is the entrance to South Sea Marina and that's sort of hiding behind the ferry terminal there and you'll see just appearing here there's the red. Now we've got to be near that red but we don't want to get too near because that's actually still quite shallow over there. So you see there's a, an absolute forest of greens and reds there. But we've got 11 metres on the depth sounder, so we're not really overly stressed. But once you've gone around the headland, you'll see they open out a little bit more. And so now you've got this kind of, although it's a forest of boys, you've got that space there. There's, there's the two reds and then there's the green beyond. And that's the start of the channel into South Sea Marina. Seven starboard hand and nine port hand markers mark the approach channel, which is dredged to 0.5 metres below chart datum, although this can definitely vary and vessels with a draft of 1.5 metres or more should exercise caution. Once you're near the marina entrance, you need to check for the red and green lights which show if the tidal gate is up or down they're not used to control traffic. The tidal gate uses the laws of buoyancy. When the water outside the marina is level with the top of the tidal gate, 
The weights connected to the gate and the tidal gate itself are balanced. When the sea level rises, the weights become relatively lighter, allowing the tidal gate to lower. This continues until it eventually lies flat. At this point, there's 1.6 metres of depth of water over the tidal gate, and a green light will be displayed at the marina entrance. As confidence draws at 1.6 metres, we need to watch the tide gauge so we know we have a safety margin under the keel before crossing the sill and entering the marina. So that's uh, the South Sea Marina then. Uh, we aren't going to stay because we've missed the uh, sill. So we're going to go back out uh, around and have a look, another look around um, the harbour. Just north of Ferry Point lies the buckled concrete hulk of one of the caissons destined to play its part in the D-Day landings of 1944. Langston was one of the sites used to construct sections of the Mulberry Harbours that were towed to France to form part of the breakwater, protecting the temporary floating quays on the Normandy beaches from the worst of the weather. The caisson that you see here had developed a fatal crack before its departure, and so it was towed out of the way on Sina Sands, where it now lies. So that's it, Langston Harbour. Uh, we've reached the sort of the confluence of the two main legs of the harbour, and uh, there's not much else to see. Uh, also, there's nowhere to anchor, so uh, we can't really stop. So we're going to just stop the filming, and then we're going to turn back around and go out of the harbour. It's a lovely day for it. Thanks for watching.